Hey, welcome. So we're back here again. And we're going for some chest today. Chest, biceps, stomach and neck. We'll see what we make out of the biceps, stomach and neck. I think the main priority here is the compound exercise. Bench press on chest. Like deadlift and squat is the main priority on these days. So it's easy to just change it out a little bit here. We can have back and biceps and triceps this day. And chest and shoulders on this day. So we can just change out a little bit if your progress is getting slower and it's related to the program or if it's related to food, we'll see. But for now we are increasing. Okay, let's jump over and see what we're gonna have to have to eat. Hey! Okay, try to get some food here. A couple of slices of bread. Has a three eggs on them. A little dried onion here for taste. And then I had some butter on the bread here. Some ketchup. And I want some uh, little pepper here on them. That's okay. A little salt. So that's good. And then I yeah, also threw out some uh, turmeric. And um, here's my oatmeal, cacao powder, and some cinnamon on top here. A little butter on the middle. And a banana, and some raisins. And I have some nuts here. Okay, I think we got a plenty of food yet. Yeah, also threw out some maple syrup on this thing. And I also have 50% water, 50% milk in the oatmeal here. Just use the, use the regular milk. Some of the milk going on in there, providing some proteins. And some eggs here. That should fill me up. Yeah, also a little cup of coffee. Start introducing some of that. That little... Yeah, I don't want to go too heavy on the coffee thing. That's about it. Start eating this stuff. Yeah. Thank you. And also, have a decent amount of food here. But I have a pretty fast metabolism now, because I'm training a bit hard. So, therefore I can manage digesting all this. Okay guys, so the meal is done, and then we're gonna head over to the gym.
Whoa, hey, okay. Had some bench going on there. I also have some biceps and stomach there after the bench press. So, but the ben ben bench press was the main priority and focus there. De developed a little bit of strength there. I noticed that I need to prioritize a little bit. Can't get every, can't get both compound exercise and prioritize those other exercises at the same level on the same day because I feel that's just too much but it's nice to have these layout here yep gonna head over gonna eat some hey as you, as you can see just some rice here and a little lentils actually just blended some rice and lentils in the same pot Cook that up, throw some ground beef in here. So just a little something, so we don't go hungry. Okay, hey guys. We're gonna check out the lens filter set from Roulet here. That'll be interesting. Felt right, like a really solid and good set. You have this different UV filter, red dive filter, mag, mag, magenta dive filter, CPL filter, 52 millimeter. And just tighten it up a little bit so it doesn't come out in this process. And then you can just apply in these filters. So GoPro Hero 3 Plus I got here. This works on all 52 millimeter lenses. So let's check it out. So this is with no filter added. And turn off the light. Yeah. Then I'm gonna add this thing. Just try out the um, magenta filter thing. Oh, I didn't tighten it up enough because you have some water coming in here. Turn off the light and on again. We're gonna check out the red one. Turn off the light. Turn on the light again. Still leaking some water into the hub, into the... Oh, it doesn't leak. We just have to see. How the salt's getting. And there is this darker one. Well, this one was really hard to get off again. And then just the UV filter. Fogging up a little bit in there. That's okay. I'm gonna use the red one again. When it's dry in the lens. And then I'm gonna open it up. Just let it be completely flooded in there with water. And now, now it's full of water in here. So, so if the footage is the same, even though it's full of water in there, then it doesn't matter if there are leak bodies into it. 
then it po would possibly just be a good idea to flood it with water in here before you start using it so it isn't half so you can see yeah test it out a little bit just to see the color difference then we're gonna go out and test a little bit more and just one more thing we're opening the gopro housing here so that could be a challenge to get in here and open it up with this on so i need to remove this before i can open the housing Yeah, and the screws where you attach this can leave really small marks that I don't care about here. Hey, okay guys, look here. Try to get some cottage cheese, through some honey, have some simple carbs here, raisins and a banana. And I throw some uh, nut, nut mix also here. So this is a good portion with, um, uh, when I start introducing some um, dairy products here, felt that my muscle development started to increase a little bit. I think the cottage cheese here is good for muscle growth. Okay, I'm gonna have that. Wow, okay, thanks for following along. Do you th think that's about the end of this day? Yeah, it was pretty interesting with these filters and stuff. But a couple of instances, they actually did leak. That may not be a problem, of course, because there is another method. You can just place it on, under water. Lens cap thing here with water, and then you turn it on under water. And then it's already filled up with water. But that can may affect the footage, but you will have to see. Of course, there isn't one that is better than the other, I guess. The depth of the water and if it's overcast or... I guess you have to see what's best for different situations. I think that's about it for today, guys. Thanks so much for following along and watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment, thumbs up. So, have a nice day. Bye bye. Yeah, I heard it's filter on. It's just supposed to provide some protection. I don't actually think that's needed for my use right now. Yeah.